Good morning guys, my name is Paul. Today we're going to be installing a onboard three bank battery charger for my 36 volt trolling motor system. Okay, it's really simple. It's not complicated. The first thing you want to do is read your on bank charger recommendations and find out where, where it's best to place it. Um, I will tell you that before you get started, I recommend you buy a AC port plug to connect your onboard battery charger to. You're going to need a hole saw, a two inch hole saw for this product to cut through the fiberglass and make sure it has the pilot bit in the middle of it. Um, you're going to need a drill of course. You're going to need some blue masking tape to mask over the spot before you begin drilling the hole. All right, so this is where my old battery was for my uh, 24 volt system. And I wanted to upgrade and get the 36 volt system. So I got a bigger battery. I had to move those batteries kind of away from that tiny hole into an open space here. But there is a, a hole here to pull some wires through. So I'm gonna go directly above it right here and I'm gonna put my AC port plug-in hole. I'm gonna put the NOCO AC port plug right here. I'm gonna put some blue masking tape here to try to keep the gel coat and fiberglass from busting all up. I always recommend you put masking tape down first. So we always want to put masking tape down first. I got my center hole marked where I want my pilot bit to go. And this is my two inch hole saw. Now this was recommended by the AC plug people that I bought the plug from. And I just want to make sure that this little Allen wrench is tight too. Cause if this starts slipping, this thing could just go all over the place. So we'll make sure it's firm and that it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, so here's my AC port plug here for my battery charger, and here's my hole saw bit, and I'm just gonna hold it up to it and make sure it's the right size and it looks to be the right size. It's just a tad bit bigger, which is good, but what we don't wanna do is make a hole too big to where we can't, we can't drill our screws through here. So long as it's pretty good pretty close so we're gonna go with that now it is a good practice to when you start to drill with your hole saw to reverse it a little bit and then go forward reverse and forward and then make sure your drill is on the fastest setting possible uh, just for a smooth uh, hole saw bore if you try to go slow you do risk damaging and pulling and cracking the fiberglass and just before we get started we want to make sure that pilot drill in the middle is tight and it seems to be it's not moving now we're going to start our hole here Like butter guys can't beat that that came out perfect uh, I wish we would have went a little bit faster and cut through there but hey that was that was good to go I can't complain with that one bit 
the hole looks good and if there is a little bit of splintering around the hole our plug is going to cover it and as you can see i put two layers of masking tape on there but guys that's beautiful that's going to work out just fine all right so one thing i like about this noco plug is that there's no metal showing anywhere on it uh, may it's got a little weep hole at the bottom but uh it looks pretty rigid uh and your little adapter just plugs in there i'm just gonna drop this down here and we're just gonna check it for fit and uh oh something got us grabbing there kind of have to put it in at an angle there we go Oh man, that's gonna look really professional. Looks good. We just gotta go through the bottom here and grab the other end and pull it through this hole, which I hope we can find. And I've already got it here. Uh, this is a, uh, and boom, there it is, guys. Awesome. Uh, now we're just going to get our three bank charger out and mount it somewhere. So there you go. Plug adapter here. And the plug goes down there to your three bank battery charger. Now we will have to get some uh, Marine 5200 RTV and go around and then put some screws in it. But, you know, we want to try to waterproof everything as much as we can. Yeah, man, that's that's awesome. All right, guys, so we got the NoCo Genius Gen 3 Mini Bank 3 Bank Charger, uh, 12 amps. So I'm guessing you get 3 to 4 amps per bank, or it's supposed to distribute the power wherever it's needed. And it's got some instructions on where to actually place this uh, it's got uh some warnings and just kind of says it's got a five-year warranty on it protects against reverse polarity applies high voltage pulse charge when low voltage sulfation or loss capacity is detected it's rugged uh, from dirt water uv impact crush resistant uh, ignition protected non-igniting and temperature controlled for safe and worry-free operation so i'm guessing uh it'll run itself cooler if the temperature gets really hot okay location of battery charger locate the battery charger as far away from the battery as possible never place the battery charger directly above the battery gases from the battery will corrode damage the battery charger when reading electrolyte specific gravity or filling battery never allow battery acid to come in contact with the battery charger do not operate the battery charger in a closed in area or an area with restricted ventilation well that might be a problem because we're putting it in a stowage box which most of us fishermen do all right so i see a nice spot here for my battery charger to go and my receptacle plugs right there so that's going to work out just fine all right so when i got the battery charger out it's got six foot leads on each bank and it's got fuses on each uh, battery 15 amp fuse on each battery so they do have you know like i said six foot leads on them so that's that's pretty good so we're just going to mount this guy into the boat and i'll show you the wiring once i get done guys one thing i want to add to this is that when you plug this in being as you're going to be in salt water there's a seam right here a crack between these two plugs i would go ahead and take some electrical tape 
and wrap around that because everything else is waterproof except right here where these two plugs meets. All right, guys, so we got our plug port installed and it does have a rubber guard with a bunch of little o-rings on it to keep it from getting salt water on it which is pretty awesome it looks very clean very professional and uh, we just come down here to our little access hole and we have our AC adapter right there for our um, Gen 3 bank charger. Boom, we just plug it up right there. AC power in, uh, alternating current in, and you got three uh, sets of leads going out, and that goes to each individual battery. And each individual battery is just going to look like this. You got three individual. Uh, 12 volt circuits so each one of these you're just going to put one black terminal here one red terminal here and that's it for each battery uh, it's not rocket science it's pretty simple and even though your batteries are in a 36 volt system when you charge your batteries it's not going to matter all you have to remember is that you unplug your 36 volt trolling motor that trolling motor completes the 36 volt system so yeah that's it so when you unplug that 36 volt trolling motor system you have no complete circuit there for the 36 volts to go through so each battery is going to be 12 volts so all right guys so I got my trolling motor unplugged over here and now I'm going to test my batteries and plug up my three bank battery charger. Make sure you have three holes of course. We're going to open up in here and see what's going on with our battery charger. It's saying that all three batteries are charged. Let me try to get my camera off show you red light charge two charge three charge so these batteries are fresh I've only had them a couple of days uh, and it is working uh, so that's pretty good so everything's working properly So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. Don't be a stranger to the channel. I got more content. I do fishing videos. I show you how to install a washdown pump. Uh, come back and see me, guys. Have a good day.